Understanding the connection, sensitive personalities, isolation, and gin affliction. In the complex tapestry of human personalities, the sensitive type stands out. This type is marked by deep introspection, keen perception, and a heightened emotional response to the world around them. The sensitivity gift, however, is a double-edged sword. It can lead to self-isolation, a retreat into a solitary world, a protective bubble against the sometimes overwhelming outside world. Islamic teachings pay particular attention to the risks of self-isolation. The prohibition on spending the night alone was narrated in some Sahih reports. It was narrated that Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, No man should travel alone or sleep in a house on his own. When someone is alone and feeling down, especially those with sensitive personality types, may become an easy target for the jinn. Their influence can lead to psychological distress, despair, and other negative states. The Prophet Muhammad's teachings offer practical advice against such negative influences. He emphasized the importance of maintaining strong social ties. Counseling can be a lifeline for those affected. By talking with a trained professional, individuals can start to understand the root cause of their isolation and work towards resolving it. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is a particularly effective method. It helps individuals challenge their negative thought patterns, replacing them with more positive and productive ones. CBT can be combined with Rucha therapy, serving as a holistic approach. This dual approach can help those afflicted regain control over their lives and ward off the dark corners of isolation. This is not to say that solitude is entirely negative. It can be a valuable tool for self-reflection and growth by spending the last third of the night time alone with Allah. However, it becomes problematic when sitting idle in negative thoughts, disconnected from Allah. Balancing solitude with social connection is key. In this balance, individuals can find a safe space to grow, reflect and connect with others without the risk of falling prey to negative spiritual influences. Remember, the Prophet Muhammad's teachings provide us with a comprehensive roadmap for living a fulfilling and spiritually balanced life. It guides us to maintain strong social bonds and protect ourselves against negative influences. So, if you identify as a sensitive personality type, understand that you are not alone. There is support available for you, religious, psychological and social. In conclusion, be aware of your vulnerabilities, but also your strengths. Use them to create a balanced life. Remember, every personality type has its challenges, but also its unique gifts. Your sensitivity is your strength, and with the right support, it can lead you to a fulfilling life. If you feel you need help to manage your sensitive nature book, a free consultation at www.rukiahealing.co.